Okay, so we are going to start by conceptualizing what we're doing by measuring diameter at breast height. And the key thing here is that we are measuring the circumference, so the total uh, diameter uh, multiplied by pi of a log in order to infer diameter because the logs are not always chopped up as you see here. So what we end up doing, and I'll show you in one second, is in order to get the diameter value, we use the diameter tape, the diameter at breast height tape or D-tape, to measure the circumference. And the cool thing about the tape, um, and circumference is the diameter multiplied by pi, so the cool thing about the tape is that it uh, accounts for that circumference and solves the diameter for you. Um, so I'll show you that. Uh, there's a log in the sun over here. So I'll just get up to show you. So here we have a uh, <coughs> our log that we are going to measure diameter uh, plainly and then uh, as an example measure with the uh, dbh tape and we'll also measure circumference so <coughs> here are our tools this is the dbh tape and on one side uh, it has the uh, uh, equation solved for you so it's using circumference to solve for diameter um, and it says uh, no diameter here and the values are in centimeters the other side you can see the values are in meters and uh, it's increasing uh, much more than um, the side that uh, solves the equation for you. So what that means is that this is measuring circumference and this side is solving the diameter dilemma. So let's, let's just uh, proof, proof all of this and uh, this will be a good demo before we actually measure some trees. So. <clears throat> we're just going to measure the diameter of this log and what's interesting is that uh, trees are almost never a perfect circle and some more than others will uh, approach an ellipse form uh, and that might be very exaggerated. So when you measure your diameter at breast height, uh, the circumference is taking into account this large part. So when we, for this purpose of this example, I'll measure the largest axes and what we get, uh, if you can see, uh, total would be about 28 centimeters um, for diameter, right? And uh, if you wanted to average that, you could go a couple ways, so 26, so we can call it 27. And um, if we multiply that by pi, uh, we are going to get around 90 centimeters, but I'll double check that. And we can even check that with uh, our tape. So let's, uh, let's first just use the tape properly. And again, it's this side with the smaller values where it's solving diameter. And we will go around our log. And you'll notice the log is leaning just slightly towards you. So instead of having my tape perpendicular to the ground, I'm slightly angling it appropriately to the way the log is leaning. And I'll uh, actually move the tape so you can see the zero there. Um, and so you have that zero mark. You're going to make sure you're not caught up on anything and where the tape is intersecting with the zero is what your diameter is. So look at that, bang on, 28. Um, and uh, that includes the, the bark, the outer layer. <clears throat> so if we do the circumference, uh, what did I say? So t uh, 28 by uh, 3.14, let's call it 30 by 3.14, is gonna give us 90 something. I, uh, I I'm no math savant, clearly. Um, so this is the side that is giving you circumference. And we will just go all the way around again. Hopefully that's clear to you. 
I'm slightly slanting um, the tape so that it's perpendicular to the way the log is leaning towards you, the camera, uh, and not, uh, <coughs> and not uh, perpendicular to the ground. So there we go. Uh, we're almost at 90 for a circumference. So again, um, when you're out in the field, obviously the, t the, the trees are not cut and you're really trying to get this diameter estimate. And the way you do that is you measure circumference and uh, you have the nifty tape that uh, solves the diameter part for you. And uh, let's go measure some trees. To race our escape gene. You're looking at a perfect example of a tree that you would like to measure for diameter at breast height. Uh, and other than being a, a beautiful aspen, uh, its trunk is smooth, it's not leaning particularly in uh, any strange way or any major way, and there's no obvious slope. There's a slight slope here, but, uh, but nothing crazy. And also at uh, breast height, there seems to be no cankers or splits or uh, burls. So this is your perfect tree. I think it's a good example to measure our diameter at breast height. I've shown you the concept conceptually, that cross section of a log. And now we're just measuring that log cross section at breast height. So that's 4.5 feet, um, but typically just whatever um, your breast height would be. and. Uh, you want to measure perpendicular to the way the tree is leaning. So since this tree is straight, we'll measure uh, just exactly uh, straight around or perpendicular to the ground um, around the tree. But if it's leaning in a particular way, left or right, you want to make sure that you're aligning with the axis that it's uh, leaning and you're measuring perpendicular to that. So. Just a reminder that you have two sides for this DBH tape. Um, one of them has the uh, diameter times pi built into it, and the other side does not. So the side with the red numbers uh, has the equation, and the side without does not. And it should be obvious because one side, the numbers are, are quickly larger than the other side, um, meaning that the equation is built in. So. Uh, we're standing next to our tree, we're on the same uh, slope that it is, it's even slope, and I'm going to go to my breast height, um, and what I'm going to do is wrap the tape around, and again, perpendicular to the ground here, because it's not leaning, but if it was, it's perpendicular to the way it's leaning. And what I'm doing, I'll show you here, um, there's the zero mark in red, and I'm going to wrap my tape around, and where it intersects with that zero is the measurement. So this tree here is 76 um, uh, centimeters in uh, diameter, and this looks like a smaller tree than the cross section I showed you, and um, that makes a lot of sense. So that's diameter at breast height on your perfect uh, trembling aspen.